Hi! It is I! I am back! I have returned! I'm alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Did you miss me? Yes, I am alive. And I, I mean that in the sense that I'm back. I've, I've come back, not that, you know. And because it was so difficult for me to upload whilst I was away, I decided, you know what, they can wait, it's fine. And I will give them loads of content when I come back because boy oh boy do I certainly have the time to edit now. <laughs> so from early February to early March 2020, I did the craziest thing that I have ever done. And I went on my first ever solo backpacking trip to Northern Europe. I have never done anything like this before and I made the decision about a month before I actually did it. Which means I didn't have a lot of time to plan. So as a result, a few crazy things happened. So I suppose you're all wondering what exactly I got up to while I was away. Well, lucky for you guys, I kept a video diary, in part for my channel and also because I needed to keep sane. So every week for the next month, I will be uploading my video diary of my first ever solo backpacking trip. Enjoy. I don't know why I'm talking so quietly, I'm the only one in this room right now. Um, but I have just got to my first destination, Bruges. Um, this is the hostel, this is St. Christopher's Inn, Bauhaus, however you say that. Um, and I'm in 12 bed, mixed dorm, but so far I'm the only one in here, I think everyone's out. And I'm exhausted from travelling. I've had to carry a really, really heavy bag. It's that massive thing there. 18 kilos on my shoulders for most of the day. So I'm just gonna go settle in and then go and explore. Okay, so this is clearly the bathroom. These must be the showers. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> I need 50. Okay, so it's starting to spit and get quite windy, so I'm gonna go back to the hostel now. It's 7.45 p.m., which doesn't seem that late, but when you've been traveling all day, it's late. So I'm gonna go get a shower and go to bed, and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Later. I'm once again the only one in my hostel room at the moment because everyone else has either checked out or they're out for the day and won't be back till the evening. Um, but my day was good. Uh, I explored uh, quite a few cathedrals. <laughs> Bruges is a city that really likes its um, religious relics, shall we say. But I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the architecture. Um, I also went to a hot chocolate cafe. I also slept surprisingly well last night because as you can see, I have a little privacy curtain um, and it was really cozy when I uh, closed the curtain and I turned on the light and I just had my book and everything. For my first day traveling, um, it was good but a bit weird. Like I'm still not used to being in a different place completely on my own. So 
that feeling will go, I guess. After the first week, I'm gonna be used to it, I'm hoping. Um, but it's just weird, like, I feel like I'm okay half the time, and then other times, like now that it's coming towards the evening, I just feel a bit, it feels a bit weird. <laughs> I'm not quite used to it. Um, but like I said, I I'm started this trip, I'm gonna commit to it because I know that I will benefit from it immensely. So I'm going to keep going. I think I'm gonna get my camera and do a time lapse because a short walk from the hostel is this beautiful bridge with a really nice view. So I think I might do a time lapse and then get some food and go to bed. Tomorrow I begin the long haul journey to Berlin, which is probably gonna take me most of the day. Um, I am off to Berlin today. I'm going from Bruges to Berlin and it's probably gonna take me all day. Um, I'm getting the train at 10 minutes past 11 and I should be getting to Berlin at half seven in the evening. Um, but the trains here are really cool. Some of them have two levels. This is my interrail pass. This is how I'm getting around. And I get seven full days worth of travel over the course of a month. I got here to the hostel about nine. The reason why I didn't film the rest of my journey yesterday is because I was sat on the floor of a packed train for about five hours. So <laughs> I got to Berlin in a bit of a mood last night, but I've since had a good night's sleep. Um, I've just had breakfast and now I'm going to explore the city.
Okay, so it's been um, a good couple of days since I properly checked in with you guys. I just, I think with the travel and everything, I just got so busy and also I still feel kind of weird doing this in public. <laughs> um, oh, I've got to take these off. Um, but I just went to the Louisiana Museum just outside of Copenhagen. Absolutely amazing. And uh, Copenhagen as a whole is a fantastic city. There's a lot of art and culture here as well as some amazing landscapes. Even their forests are pretty. Look at that. It's amazing. And tomorrow, I begin the surprisingly short journey to Malmö in Sweden, which will be exciting. I've still got three weeks left of this adventure, so I'm gonna continue to vlog and make the most of it. One week down, three more weeks to go. Let's do this. I also wanna say a massive thank you for checking in and watching this. Um, if you haven't already, then please subscribe. I will appreciate it. As soon as I get back from my trip, I'm going to be uploading more regularly now because I've quit my job. I am now self-employed. My time is pretty much my own. Um, and yeah, subscribe. Check me out on social media. And uh, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.